Gina was born on February 9th, 1954 in Perth. She's the only child of Hope and Lang Hancock. She attended St. Hilda's Anglican School for Girls in Perth, but she dropped out to work for her father. She hasn't been that lucky with relationships as she's been married twice. However, she has four children, two with her first husband who she divorced, Greg Milton, and the other two with her late husband, Frank Reinhardt. Nevertheless, with these troubles, she still managed to become the ninth richest woman in the world. So, how did she do it? According to Forbes, Gina Reinhardt's estimated net worth as of 2022 is $28.7 billion. She is the executive chairman of Hancock Prospecting, which has made her the richest person in Australia and a mining magnate. Reinhardt expanded into other areas like agriculture and media after establishing her supremacy in the mining sector and becoming a billionaire in 2006. But where did all this start? In April of 1909, Gina's father Lang Hancock was born into one of the largest landowning families in Australia. On their journey to Perth in a small private plane one day in late 1952, Lang and his wife passed over the Pilbara, a remote region of Western Australia. Bad weather compelled him to divert the plane over a particularly difficult terrain area. Lang noted as he flew through that the walls of the mountain's surroundings seemed to be solid iron ore. He acted rapidly to buy hundreds of acres of the property he hoped might hold the iron ore he'd seen from the air. Unfortunately, iron ore exports from Australia were technically prohibited at the time, so there wasn't much he could do with the land. Lang and his recently established company Hancock Prospecting petitioned the Australian government to lift the restriction for the next nine years. In 1961, they finally achieved success, and it turned out that Lang had indeed discovered the biggest iron ore deposit in the history of the globe. Unfortunately, in 1992, Lang Hancock passed away. So, what do you think happened next? Per Gina's father's will, the whole Hancock corporate empire was placed in a trust to be managed by Gina Reinhardt, then a 38-year-old single mother of four. Gina consequently received an almost bankrupt mining empire as an immediate inheritance. However, without considering its liabilities, the corporation was only worth $75 million when she took over as her father's sole successor. Fortunately, Gina Reinhardt was able to save the company from bankruptcy and convert it into one of the biggest mining companies in the world, as well as the largest private company in the country. She also made herself a fortune by doing this. But did she stop there? Was this enough for her? Well, no. Gina Reinhardt is well known in Australia's mining and agriculture industries. She also plays a significant role in Australia's Olympic efforts. Reinhardt is the largest non-government donor in Australian Olympic history and the patron of four teams. The Australian Olympic Organization has awarded her with the prestigious Order of Merit in recognizing her work. Moreover, numerous accolades given to Mrs. Reinhardt honor her substantial efforts, risk-taking, hard work, and service to Australia. She's won additional awards for Bannister Downs, a joint venture company with hundreds of awards for its high-quality dairy products. And with success, there are always some challenges in between. So, what were the biggest obstacles she's had to overcome to achieve her achievements? Most of Lang's business holdings were placed in trust under his will for his daughter Gina and her offspring. By doing this, Lang specifically cut Rose, his third wife, out of the mining empire. And as you can expect, Rose was indignant to learn that she was not included in her husband's will. It resulted in an ugly legal dispute that lasted 14 years and cost millions of dollars. Unfortunately, her family has other unpleasant disagreements as well. Basically, Gina's unwavering road has been somewhat lonely. Her children have sued Gina on numerous occasions regarding ownership of Hancock Prospecting. John Reinhardt, with whom she had a falling out in 2003, changed his last name to Hancock. On the other hand, his sister Bianca was supposed to succeed her mother in the family business, but at their mother's request, Gina took over in 2011. 
And to make matters worse, Gina didn't show up at any of her kids' weddings. Hope Welker, Reinhardt's daughter, filed a lawsuit against her mother in 2013 after she decided to keep ownership and management of the family trust for an additional 57 years. It would be Gina Reinhardt's 114th birthday. Nevertheless, despite everything, Gina Reinhardt continues to live a luxury lifestyle. You might be wondering what kind of a lifestyle and spending habit does she have? No house is out of your price range if you're a billionaire. In July 2021, Reinhardt was alleged to have paid 34 million Australian dollars for the seaside home known as Webb House. The four-bedroom modern mansion was negotiated off the market. It sits on over 2,000 square meters of land and provides a clear view of the beach below. The worth of the Hawthorne estate is $18.5 million. Mrs. Reinhardt has also spent over 18.5 million Australian dollars on a historic riverbank mansion in Hawthorne. Moreover, after gaining approval from the neighborhood council, Reinhardt intends to set up a new structure for her lavish property. Gina Reinhardt appears to spend her time when she's not traveling around Australia in a private jet in the penthouse of a luxurious cruise ship. Furthermore, with 9.2 million hectares of land under her ownership, Reinhardt is the nation's greatest landowner. That represents 1.3% of Australia's landmass. Interestingly, she's the second largest cattle producer in Australia. She recently received $216 million through selling 110,000 cattle and $1.8 million worth of good grazing land. Regardless, she seems quite ambitious. Anyway, what amazed you? the most about Gina Reinhardt and why.